Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I would like to show you a few miniatures I got printed from uh, this company, Joy Games Interactive. Um, their range covers mainly um, the early 16th century and the late 15th century with both Spanish and Imperial troops that I will show you later but first of all I would like to show you the, the website itself. Um, they have these historical miniatures but they also have another ranges like um, French Breton Wolves, African Orcs, um, Dark Ages, uh, Anglo-Scottish Elves, I I've got uh, some of them as well, and Turco mongol Elves, based on the Dark Elves. Here they have this uh, YouTube video in which they explain how to handle all the 3D printing thing. And besides it, um, here we have the, the, the models themselves. These are the Imperials that we can do for the Holy Roman Empire. We can see crossbowmen, arquebusiers, zweihandert, um, light and medium infantry with both um, dual wheeled guys and pikemen, heavy cavalry, artillery crew, some flagellants from the this period um, because this is a period in which the uh, Spanish Inquisition was more active. Um, the 16th century and also of course cuirassiers and writers and uh, mounted crossbowmen. As I told you uh, they also have um, some fantasy stuff like this ogre lance which I personally don't have but in case you want to do this here they are. They also have these Breton uh, dwarves blah, blah, but here it comes uh, the interesting thing the Spanish um, War Games Atlantic has announced their Spanish uh, conquistadores. I don't have them yet. Uh, I pretend to do so, but by now I'm very pleased with those here because uh, I printed uh, a few of each range and they uh, seem to work very well and they seem to be in a very, very uh, compatible scale with uh, all the Perry or Warlord models. You can see here an officer with a pistol, uh, command groups, crossbow markers, here, um, different types of infantry. The, the one with the shield, the Escudados. You know, one third of the Spanish army by that time uh, should use the shield. And then uh, the final cavalry and the artillery crew. Finally, these are the Anglo Scottish Elves. I've got printed some of them, especially the Gallo was here and some heavy infantry that I'm going to show you both um, painted in different styles. And now finally I'm going to show you a few miniatures already printed from the different ranges. This one's Spanish, the Escudado or Shieldman. More or less one third of the Spanish army during this period already or still uh, used shields. Then a Pikeman without shield and with a dagger on his left hand and a dual wielded guy very used as well in front of the pikes they used to uh, go down and try to reach uh, the enemy pikemen in front of them these were 3d printed um, already they have this artillery uh, guy trying to shot the, the cannon and some officers Here they are. And of course, during this period, the flagellants, very popular because of the Inquisition. Here, uh, this one I need to finish painting, but uh, you can see how good they are. And um, some of them need to, uh, you, you need to assemble the, the hands separately. But they are a very interesting addition to any army during this period because you can use them for uh, multiple purposes. And finally, I will compare you, well, uh, before that, I will show you the cavalry. This is an, a Spanish officer with a gun. Very interesting size. The, the horse is very big, but um, that's good because in, for example, these Perry models, uh, the horse should be bigger. If you compare them, the scale is totally compatible. And of course, because of the um, second base, uh, the Perry models have, but um, this is a, another example, a uh, German writer without base this time, and you can see how good the detail is and how easy to paint it will be. And finally, uh, comparing some infantry, we have, for example, 
this pair is uh, mounted men at arms, these three, and we can compare them, for example, with this 3D printed um, handgun, uh, um, halberd, and it's by handed. You can see that the size is perfectly compatible. And some warlord models like um, these two, for example. This is a 3D printed and this is a warlord launch connect with spy handed. And without the base, we have also this um, crossbowman 3D printed. So you can see their size is perfectly compatible from uh, both manufacturers. And finally, well, if you can see, if you want to see a horse behind them, it will be the size. Well, uh, that's been all. Uh, thank you for watching. I, I hope this, um, this has been useful and see you next time.